Potato harvest is a great time of year. It's, it's really fun work. Everybody enjoys it. It's really satisfying. You never know what's going to come tumbling up over the digger. They could be red, they could be purple, they could be white, they could be russet. The main crop harvest is usually done in middle to late September. We hope to have it done by Thanksgiving most years. Every single potato gets looked at, graded, judged, evaluated. There are several ways that we can inform the industry of what we're doing and how it benefits them. One of them is that we host a field day every summer in which growers, producers, processors, anybody connected with the potato industry is welcome to come to the field. They see the varieties in the field as they look, as they grow and we have presentations about the research that we do at the same time. It's a great networking and educational experience for everybody. We also produce reports that are presented to the growers at their meetings throughout the winter, their annual meetings. We also have a lot of contact and get the word out there and benefit their industry. The objectives of the field program are to find potato varieties that are well adapted to Ontario conditions. The industry is really looking for varieties that can be grown well in the locations that they need them, which is in Ontario, where the population base is highest. Over the years, we've tried to build some very strong linkages. We've had a long-standing relationship with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada at Fredericton. They run the National Potato Breeding Program, and we've been instrumental in testing their lines for many years. We have collaborators in Department of Food Science who are experts in protein and carbohydrate chemistry and complement our quality and field program uh, very closely. Most recently, we've developed some strong collaborations with faculty in human health and nutritional sciences, looking at colored vegetables and the role that colored vegetables play in animal and human diets. Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada and Growing Forward too. The Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, the Adaptation Council and the Canadian Hort Council. Along with the Ontario Potato Board are all supporters of the program. We especially value the relationship with the Ontario Potato Board and the potato industry because that's a functional relationship. Um, there's a great exchange of information. They help direct the research program and help set priorities for the things that are important to the Ontario industry. The potato program at the University of Guelph has a very long and rich history dating back to the post-World War II era. Gary Johnson was a potato breeder in the 50s and 60s and he developed the Yukon Gold Potato. He bred it here in Guelph in 1966. The Yukon Gold has been a great tasting potato. It's adaptable worldwide. They grow it in Australia, they've grown it in Europe, they grow it in a number of different regions around the world. Yukon Gold has a really nice, dry, fluffy texture, beautiful, deep yellow flesh. It's, it's a beautiful potato. A good potato is consistent from one location to another and one year to another, and has good uniformity, high quality, high yield, good disease tolerance, uh, resistant to many common defects, uh, one that tastes good, one that looks good. A good chipping potato should be round so that as it slices, the slices are uniform. Uh, it should have high starches, low sugars, and produce a really white, light-colored, high-quality chip. Everybody loves potato chips. They're crispy, they're tasty, they're a little bit salty. I don't think I've ever met anybody who doesn't love potato chips. Some people are abs find them absolutely irresistible, but I don't think I've met anybody who can resist a freshly cooked, crispy, tasty potato chip. In the potato chip industry, they're looking for new varieties, particularly those that can fill a niche in middle of the summer, when the supplies from the previous fall have been exhausted and the quality isn't there. They're looking for varieties that can be grown in Ontario and ready for market and ready for the chip factory by July. And we've responded to this by getting early maturing chip lines that we can test. We're growing them in a trial in Leamington, which is the central place for early maturing chipping lines in Ontario. So we're hoping to identify breeding material that can become new potato varieties that the chip industry can be using in July when they have that need for field chipped potatoes in Ontario. The industry is really looking for varieties that can be grown well in the locations that they need them, which is in Ontario, where the population base is highest. Uh, growers would like varieties that are highly disease tolerant and drought tolerant and have a high yield, which will impact their bottom line as businesses. 
potato industry is always interested in new varieties uh, because it's a solution to many different problems and it can be many different solutions to many different problems. Uh, new varieties help the processors, new varieties help the producers, new varieties help the retailers. There's no downside to having a wider range of germplasm and a wider diversity of inputs into the market. In training our undergraduate students, they also get to see the practical side of the research. At our field days, they get to interact with uh, the growers and the processing industry. They can see what the growers are looking for, they can hear their comments, they can talk to the growers. They start to develop an understanding of what we're doing and, more importantly, why we're doing it. And they get to see the relationship between what we're doing and what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and how that translates into benefits for the grower and for the processing industry.